Hello, my name is John Murray. I'm a member of BlackBerry Developer Relations team based in the UK and spend most of my time helping developers create applications for both the BlackBerry 7 and BlackBerry 10 platforms. I get involved in a whole variety of interesting uses of our BlackBerry devices and work closely with my colleague Martin Woolley, who is also part of the UK Developer Relations team. We work in areas such as near field communication and Bluetooth low energy. Earlier this year we began to look at accessories, looking at the opportunities for developers wanting to build BlackBerry 10 applications that integrate with external devices. Bluetooth Low Energy has obvious appeal in this context and we've been exploring the BlackBerry 10 APIs and use cases, developing applications to highlight these various use cases we've come across and publishing our findings by sharing them with the BlackBerry developer community through deep dive technical articles, blog posts and videos such as this one. This video explores how Bluetooth Low Energy can be used to help you uh, keep your precious things close, how to monitor objects that you would hate to lose. The attribute we're specifically interested in here is proximity and how to use Bluetooth Low Energy to gauge the proximity of your valuable objects such as your wallet, keys or even young children. The proximity profile itself is concerned with enabling us to monitor objects which we would hate to lose and specifically to be notified when an object has become too far away from us for comfort. Perhaps a child whom we're supervising has strayed a little too far away from us for comfort. Secondly, we can be notified when we are so far away from our object that we completely lost sight of it. Perhaps we've left our wallet on a seat in the car and started to walk away having forgotten where we, that we'd left it there. Thirdly, you can also gain assistance when we have lost our object but we think it is probably still relatively close by. For example, help, where are my car keys? The Bluetooth SIG defines two roles with respect to proximity profile. A proximity reporter uh, on the right hand side here is a GAT server usually embodied in a device about the size of a small key fob. fob. The proximity monitor on the other hand is a device that works with the proximity reporter keeping an eye on the status of the proximity reporter device. In our case the proximity monitor is a BlackBerry 10 application. So we have a partnership here with a proximity reporter device in your bag or attached to your keys and a proximity monitor application running on your BlackBerry 10 smartphone, you should never lose precious things again. This figure lists the services defined for the proximity profile reporter role. The dotted lines around the box indicate a service that's optional. So in fact, the only mandatory service in this profile is the link loss service itself. So let's talk about each of those services in turn. Firstly, the link loss service. This service triggers an audible alert whenever the Bluetooth link to the monitor device is lost. Secondly, we have the immediate alert service. This service will trigger an audible alert whenever it is instructed to do so by the monitor device. In other words, it can respond to a where are you query with a beep or similar sort of noise. Transmit power service. This service exposes the reporter device's current transmit power level when it's in a connection. So what concrete example would demonstrate this use case? Well, there's no more precious thing to a parent than a child and we've made use of cartoon chickens before in NFC examples to demonstrate amusing use cases. So Bluetooth Chicken Guardian was hatched. Bluetooth Chicken Guardian implements three use cases. It monitors your distance from the proximity reporter device with which it has been paired and gives a visual representation of distance falling into three bands which are near, far and somewhere in between. In this case far is deemed to be too far 
so that the application indicates this with a distinct visual appearance and a suitable sound effect. The panic button uh, exploits the immediate alert service. When selected, we send a command over Bluetooth Low Energy, which causes the device to emit a loud tone, which we can hear and thereby locate the lost item. So, how do we monitor distance? Well, here's how it's supposed to work. When we first connect to the proximity reporter device, we should query the transmit power service. This returns a value which indicates, as a digital quantity, the power which the reporter device is transmitting. It's actually measured in dBm, a ratio measured against 1 milliwatt. This is more convenient in radio applications than a, an absolute value, say, measured in milliwatts or watts. We can then use this as a baseline to compare with the locally experienced signal strength that we actually receive. Using that comparison of the two, we can then figure out an approximation of the distance between the two. However, we found that the transmit power service didn't work properly across different devices from different vendors, no matter what third-party tools we used to test it. So we had to compromise in this application. We gave our application a setting page where the user defines signal strength thresholds, which are linked to the three distance bands of near, middle distance and far. It's a simple approach which works in practice and which can be tuned by the user as they see fit. If you want to see how to use the transmit power servers itself, then the code is also present in the sample application. Let's now take a look at the application in action. Here we see the application running on a BlackBerry Z30 alongside a Texas Instruments key fob which implements the proximity profile. If we press the scan tab, the application searches for proximity centers uh, in the vicinity. I we'll have to wait till this completes. The device that we're using here is a Texas Instruments key fob. Uh, again, as I said, it implements the uh, proximity uh, profile and once that particular device has been detected uh, and the search completed, uh, we can choose that device from the list, from the key fob, uh, and then press the uh, tab to start monitoring. There's a signal pro there's a progress uh, bar at the bottom that we use to indicate the uh, signal strength at this point in dBm. If we move the, uh, the key fob uh, away from the device you can see that the small baby chicken moves far away. If I press the uh, panic button you'll hear that the uh, immediate alert service causes the uh, key fob to alert and produce a beeping sound. In the settings, we provided uh, thresholds for the uh, near and medium uh, levels of the, the uh, RSSI uh, signal. If we set those, and then perhaps we move the device very far away in order to uh, uh, hear what happens. I hear that uh, the, the mother chicken emits a rather fetching clucking noise. If you go into the About page, you can see those details about us, how to contact us, and a rather nice animation of a, a mother and a family of chickens. So that was quite fun, wasn't it? Let's now take a look at the core API that's been used to determine the transmit power of the device. We use the RSSI value, that is the received signal strength indication value, as a measure of the signal power in dBm. We need to determine the RSI, RSSI of the uh, remote device. 
This is actually done quite simply using the uh, bt underscore rdev underscore get underscore current underscore rsi function. Once you have the rssi value, you can map that onto the predefined levels that we've established in the settings by the user and get some idea of the proximity of the device. That is, is it near, is it middle distance, or is it far away? So, that brings us to the end of this video on Bluetooth Low Energy for BlackBerry 10 using the proximity profile to keep precious things close. I hope you found uh, this uh, yet another interesting Bluetooth Low Energy use case. There are many more exciting examples of Bluetooth Low Energy usage emerging all the time and this is an exciting area to be working in, particularly with the extensive Bluetooth Low Energy APIs that BlackBerry 10 makes available to you. We pull together all the details of our Bluetooth uh, Low Energy blog posts, articles, code samples and videos into one single place. The URL to this is on the screen now, so go there and take a look. In addition, if you'd like to approach either myself or Martin to talk about this subject or ask for help, then please feel free to do so. Our Twitter handles uh, are also there on the screen. Thank you very much for your time and for listening.